here to hijack this town and to try and make an issue out of getting guns out of good people's hands that can make a difference. And you know that, Beto. Okay, we have something for her. No, this is right bullshit. It's here about mental health and it's about the okay. war on boys and masculinity. You're bullshit by being here. Shame on you, Beto. Why do you debate me? Why do you debate me? Go ahead. Answer my question. Answer my question, Beto. Come on. in charge of urban yeah. communities and cities for decades. Yeah, the Democrats have failed. They don't care about you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're in Sandy Hook. We don't care. It's bullshit. Yeah. 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 I can't Greetings and salutations. If you watch the the clip before this commentary, you would know about this woman who yelled at a campaign event for Beto O'Rourke in Newtown, Connecticut, which was very close to the um, the Sandy Hook area. And the woman was yelling about the real problem. She was yelling at the gorilla in the room. In Western society, particularly in the United States, we have this gorilla, right? We have this gorilla sitting on the couch, sitting in our living room, 800 pound gorilla. We try to walk around it. We dance around it. We sit on the sofa, the love seat that's right by that couch on the right side of the screen. But we won't dare talk about that object that animal what that is sitting in your living room you won't even dare sit right by it but instead of addressing that gorilla we want to look at the tree that's on the right side we want to blame the bowl that is sitting on the coffee table. We want to look at the telephone that's on the left side. We want to look at the lamps. We want to tend to the plant that's sitting right by that lamp. But we want to but we want to ignore of the real issues in New Valley, Texas. A young man went into an elementary school and took out in New 
Uvalde, Texas took out children. In Buffalo, New York, a, a week ago or so, you got another young man who drove three hours and took the lives of 10 individuals minding their own business. But we don't want to address that gorilla in the room. Then earlier this year, we got an old 50 something year old man went to a subway and like a Star Wars stormtrooper shot several people even though all of them had lived but we still don't want to address the gorilla that's in the room I wonder why why is it so hard to address that gorilla that's sitting there eating your fruit, sitting there destroying the holstery on your couch? You got liberals out here. Oh yes, you got your liberals. Democratic Party will sit there and say, well, well, maybe if we get rid of the guns, as if that was going to prevent some of these murders out here. Especially when the Buffalo shooter, he may also have a Bushmaster weapon but he also had pump action shotguns now I don't know about what the shooter in Novality had I'm still waiting for the full with all that is fleshed out with the next six hours because it's 2 a.m. it's almost 2 a.m. on May 25th 2022 that I'm making this post so so I'm gonna wait on what weapons this person have all of it comes out but y'all said well it's it's guns or it's these types of gun as if that is opposed to address what is the problem During the 1967, uh, t uh, the University of Texas shooter, right? We had a man with a high power, with a a high powered rifle with a scope and bolt action, got up on a tower in Austin, Texas, where. University of Texas is located. And shot people as they going to and fro from class. There is a gorilla in the room you don't want to talk about. And the signs of all these shootings, where there's happened in UT 1967, whether that happened in Montreal, Canada in 1989, where, where a man walked into a classroom in Montreal, Canada, told the men to get out the room and massacred the women. Oh yes, massacred the women in the classroom 
Then we got Columbine back here in the United States. Then you got the Virginia Tech. Then, then you, know, you got uh, what happened in, in, in Florida. The two, the three, four mass shootings in Florida. But we don't want to trust the the issue that gorilla that is in the room. I don't want to hear your racial identity politics. I don't want to hear your your gender politics even though gender do have to do with this because this is about the crisis among men and I really don't want to hear from you conservatives well as the liberals are 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 coming on here talking about guns as if worrying about type of guns is going to stop the problem. Don't you come on here like what Ted Cruz is trying to do. And try to tell people to pray about it. It will go away. I don't want to hear anything about single mothers. As if that's going to solve your problem. When some of these shooters do had and have had fathers in the household, like the shooter up there in the Midwest, I forgot his name. I forgot the town thing was Michigan. Or Wisconsin, I forgot which one it is, but I put it all in the links. I put all of what I'm talking about in the links so you can understand where I'm coming from. And I will provide solutions, provide my own solutions to this. So where have this started from? What is really the start of the origin of why all these men, young men, at the dawn of their adulthood, at the end of their childhood, would afflict pain and suffering onto innocence. Back in 1981, there was a bill that was passed and signed during the Reagan Bush administration where um, where 30% of mental health has been decreased. Mental health hospitals was defunded. While at the same time period, The education between men and women was at 50 50. 50% 50 of men, 50% of women. Between 1978 and 1982, men and women, and I will provide the links and the charts in the description box for everybody to know what I'm talking about. I don't have no editing software to to correct to uh, to show you. I'll say I don't have no decent um, editing software to show you, but what's in the description box is links. But back to the point. In nineteen. Between 1978 and 1982, 1983, you see men and women equally 
when it comes to higher education, getting degrees, was that equal? Nearly 50-50. But to, after 1985, a lot of men up until now, to 2022, is decreasing from education itself. And his worth in the workforce, especially when it comes to blue collar work, blue collar factory work, is being diminished because of automation in our invest in advancement in our technological prowess. The utmost of our 20th and 20th first century technology has made labor has reduced our labor to a point that some men blue collar men or men from low economic and uh, levels social economic levels to be more to be less useful in society that's also true what happened in the early 70s with the ghost shock of of 1971 where you got an increase of a black of, of primarily minority men even even mid, even low income white men from establishing families because his income is no longer stable to hold a household to be dependent on by the household by himself I got to add that in there And because of that, a lot of men, even in our education system, I got I got to go back to the education here. Boys are being looked upon as 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 the, the as uh, defective when the when education of boys take a back seat to girls' ed- education. And no, I'm not here to gender war. I'm not here to sit there and blame everything on women. I'm here to sit there and bring awareness of what is the crisis among young men in Western society. I'm not just talking about what happened in the United States. I'm not just talking about what happened in New Valley, Texas. I'm not what just had what happened in 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 Buffalo, Texas. I'm not talking about what happened in Michigan and Wisconsin. I'm not talking about what happened in in uh, the Colorado uh, Dark Knight shooter. We have a problem we don't want to address. We have a mental health issue. We have an education issue. And we also have a socialization issue in this country. But we don't want to address that grill in the room. We feed boys Prozac and Ritalin soon as they step foot inside an elementary school. And then we wonder why he is lacking in behind when he's in high school, when he's in junior high, high school, and in college. A lot of this is is because we because in the association part of it we down we down we downplayed 
we downplayed the importance of the blue collar vocation. We downplayed the the issue of boys and ask girls to to be more act be more physically active than be imprisoned inside the confines of the four walls that is that school of the classroom. We reduce we reduce PE time so that young boys can 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 spin up uh, will at least spend some of that energy so they can be at least controlled inside the confines of that of that classroom. I'm going to tell you as I try to be diplomatic. No, wrong word. While I'm trying to be philosophical, we have a world that that does not use our God-given talents. our wisdom and our creativity and ingenuity to solve this problem. The liberals want to stay, use these stories to take away or talk about or complain about automatic or semi-automatic or military looking Firing arms. Conservatives want to say, well, it's your religion or lack thereof that is the problem. Blaming, blaming other people who doesn't believe, who doesn't fit in the confine of the organized religion. What it takes, and I have to quote somebody who is recently deceased, but I'll sit here and quote him for this. You have to do some intellectually heavy lifting to solve this problem. It's not guns. It's not talking about prayer in school and who who is Christian and Christian no Judeo Christian no what we got to do is some intellect have to have some intellectual heavy lifting do some in, do some intellectual heavy lifting to to address and solve and pinpoint the problem. First of all, what needs to happen, and here's my solution to it. First of all, we got to understand something. That everything what you're talking about is secondary. There's no amount of gun laws is going to change what happened. No matter how much a person said, well, pray to Jesus is not going to solve the problem. And no, I'm not being this as blasphemous. Because I, I believe in the God. I believe in Jesus Christ. So I'm not here to blaspheme the Lord. But 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 y'all act like saying the word Jesus is going to save people. No. Works without faith is dead. So let's get that out the way. Second thing that needs to happen. Bring back. 
I say you gotta have to bring back mental health hospitals. Because what happened in Parkland, what happened in in um in New York could have been prevented if we had funding, government funding for mental hospitals. And the mental hospital legislation that was passed in the 60s and 70s that's now been that's been repealed in the 1980s you need to bring that back the third thing that needs to happen is is produce an education policy similar to to um, to Barack Obama's My Brother Keep, Keepers initiative even though that is for black and Latino men and I get that but also do what I'm trying to remember this men's rights leader Warren um, man I'll put his name in the chat room who produced a, who is advocating for a national council for young boys and his education policy also needs to be put out in front and center as well, needs to be created. See, a lot of boys who had commit these crimes, if you really listen to their, to their, um, listen to their words, they feel being left out. They feel being attacked. They feel they've been marginalized for whatever reason it is and no I'm not making and let me say this right here before we before we before somebody in the chat room or somebody in the comment section or somebody on on another panel talking about well you're making excuses for such and such you're making excuses for what's going on in Buffalo yes I understand that I understand that how the press, how the media, especially in in le- in right wing media, will call the, the the racist white shooter of Buffalo as mentally ill. No, he was not mentally ill. But the problem is, though, if we will create structures so somebody like him to be de-radicalized. And that's another thing we need to talk about. The de-radicalization of young men, especially that online. Because some of our our online, some of the things that's been done on social media is radicalization of young men by certain groups, racial, Pacific or gender Pacific, whether that's whether that's race, whether that's neo Nazis, black and uh, black revolutionary, uh, um, La Raza types of movements, or these manosphere or uh, manospherian sounding groups. being radicalized we need a de-radicalizing camp campaign a de-radicalizing of young men a structure to de-radicalize men who are already in this predicament that's what i think what needs to happen those are the four or five things i think what needs to happen And also, since since a lot of us 
since a lot of young men rather are are feeling the economics are against them I believe in most areas need to bring back vocational training in high schools trade and shop training that also needs to come back but anyway like share subscribe but it's time to address that gorilla that's staring at you in that room don't blame that tree don't blame that lamp don't blame that bowl don't blame the coffee table you blame the gorilla that's right there that's what you need to do i'm out like share and subscribe